Hi guys, welcome to an unboxing video. What I have here is a Black Anchor Heavy Industries box. Um, I'm after picking this up. It's uh, commissioned to go with all the cricks I've been painting and it's Scar Tree, so Admiral of the Black Fleet. So I'm going to open up and have a look at her and see what we have. So pieces seem to be bubble wrapped with the main pieces. Um, I've got a blister with scar. Let's see one of the horns in there. So pretty, pretty nice sculpts. That's the that's the wheel, obviously. Um, scar has one leg, so. It's nice to see uh, a thinner cloak from BP, not a big block. These must be railings. This, this kind of stuff here is um, standard enough. Not much flash and the stuff does look very well. So I'd say all oh, that's okay, that's Scar herself there. Um, I'll show up close ups when they're all primed and all, or I'll put pictures up on Facebook or something so you can see. Them. I'll go with this bit first. Oh, that's class. That is really cool. That's the, that's like the base thing that she sits on. So it's actually really tall. Um, GW paint pot. There you go. It's, it's actually a lot taller than I expected it to be. Bit of cleanup's going to be needed in here, and on the these bits. But other than that, it is a seriously cool piece. The faces are cool. It's still going to be a bit of cleanup needed on them, and I'm not sure what's going on back here. The cubby pieces to fit onto that or something. I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that in a few minutes and see. But that's really cool. Heavy, it's really heavy. Uh, just take that away. Standard big colossal base for a PP mini. It's so heavy, it's ridiculous. It's just gorgeous, like, it's absolute class. Um, definitely, like, this is going to be a pain in the backside to clean, and some of these bits. Uh, the floor is a bit unlevel there, but I might lose a bit of detail cleaning it up. But it's nothing, nothing you can't deal with. Like you know, it's going to be under the model. At least up here looks fairly, fairly okay. Bit of flash in there. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. That's really heavy as well. Open this bit up and see what the crack is in here now. Mm. It's one of the side panels. It's obviously some kind of cloth draped over it there. That's a really nice piece, doesn't seem to be too bad, just standard PP flash there. Piece of floor seems okay. Bit of flash. Cannon besides flash she seems fine. No major deformities so far, thankfully. This uh, this is just class. Bit of bit of tidy up needed here. Um, I I presume there's something to fit on there. Let's see if you can. Okay, it's kind of hard to get the. You can kind of see the shadow there. Uh, it looks like there might be a piece to fit into it or something. So, 
There's the opposite side skirt, standard flash again. So this is the other side, you can see little barnacles sculpted on there. A uh, bit of tidy up, it's obviously something that fits onto these bits because this side has it as well. So that's that's grand. Um, more banner, barnacles there, a bit of flash to remove. It's really cool. That that's class. It's like um, a Statixis skull and crossbones. I don't know where that goes. If it's the tra like oh, okay, that's obviously where that goes there. After the flash pops off it now, but uh, that'll look cool once it's done. Um, the ship's mast, like the wood on it, is sculpted really well. You can see the different rings in there. There you go. So the, like even the detail on the rope is really good. It's almost seamless. There's one or two small hiccups. You should be able to sort that out with a hobby knife. And I have the other cannon, a bit more flash on it. Not too bad. And this looks like the back of the ship, so um is it the back of the ship? It's hard to know. No, okay, that's probably where that bit goes there. So it's the base of the ship. Which is probably just as well because these pieces here are gonna, gonna leave flat where they're just like planks, so be a bit of a bit of a pain if that was on show, but it's not so it's fine. Uh, I'll probably paint this in sub assemblies because it's just detail everywhere. I'll just prime each piece individually once it's all cleaned up and all. Um, but that's all the pieces of scar. I'll clean the pieces and do a rough fit in, a, in another video once it's all been primed. But overall, amazing looking model. Um, no major kit issues. Uh, there was him and Han online. Some people saying it was bad. Some people saying it was fine. For the price that this kit was and the detail that's in it, it was well worth it, especially considering how heavy this piece is. Like, you could, I'd say you could easily throw that through a window, it's that solid, like, you know, that's how heavy it is. And the detail sculpted into it is amazing. But that's it. Overall, class looking kit, absolutely deadly. And um, I can't wait to get painting it, so stay tuned to see that. And cheers for watching.